This is NoonStatement.tv. Noon, by the pen, and that which they write therewith. And now the proof that Allah Ta'ala had sent the Prophet to Quraysh all the fathers in Surah Yasin, verse number 6. Allah Azza wa Jal said, You can hear a qawm and ma unzir aba'ahum fahum lafiyun. For you to warn the people whose fathers were not warned, so they are unwell. Here the verse talking about Quraysh fathers in the age of Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam. While in Surah Al-Mu'minun, verse number 68, Allah Azza wa Jal said, أَفَلَمْ يَدَّبَّرُوا الْقَوْلِ أَنْ جَاءَهُمْ مَا لَمْ يَأْتِ آبَاءَهُمْ لَوْرِينَ Do they not consider and think in the world, or has it come to them what did not come for their old fathers? And here the verse indicate to Quraysh old fathers in the age of Prophet Ibrahim, then in verse number 69 in the same surah al-Mu'minun, Allah Azza wa Jal said, أَمْ لَمْ يَعْرَفُوا رَسُولَهُمْ فَهُمْ لَهُ مِنْ كُرُونَ Or they didn't recognize their messengers, so they deny him. As the fact we said Allah put him for death for 100 years, so the Quraysh ancient fathers didn't recognize their messenger, Dhul Qarnayn alayhi salam, and the proof in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 259, Allah Azza wa Jal said, أَوْ كَالَّذِي مَرَّ عَلَىٰ قَرْيَةٍ وَهِيَ خَاوِيَةٍ عَلَىٰ عَرُوحٍ قال أن يحيي هذه الله بعد موتها فأمات الله ما تعام ثم بعثه. Or like who passed by a village and it was fallen and empty, he said, how Allah will give it life after its death. So Allah put him for death for one hundred years, then resurrect him. Truthful Allah and the Great. Allah Ta'ala sent Dhul Qarnayn alayhi salam to the Yemeni king, King Tubba. And at that time, King Tubba declared himself as a god, and he was the king over the Arabian's land. But King Tubba refused to believe and tried to kill everyone who believed and follow Dhul Qarnayn alayhi salam. Then Allah Ta'ala punished him and gives his kingdom and armies to Dhul Qarnayn. And you can find the proofs and details in the statement. Then Dhul Qarnayn alayhi salam starts his journey all over the world with his great army to invite for Islam. Until he reached the north pole and there he found the gate to the inner world. And there he found uh, Gog and Magog and uh, others. As you have to know that there are two worlds on earth. One is uh, the outer world where we are uh, now and the other is uh, the inner world uh, that's uh, Babylon land, Ard Babylon. In Surah Ar-Rum, verse number 7, Allah Azza wa Jal said, فَيَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ عَنْ لَأَخِرَتِهُمْ لَافِرُونَ They know the outward of this world lives, but for the other they are unwell. This means there is another world on earth, we don't know about it yet. In Surah Ar-Rahman, verse number 17, Allah said, رَبِّ الْمُشْرِقِينَ وَرَبِّ الْمَغْرِبِينَ and here uh, the relevant transition, the uh, Mashriqin or Maghribin means uh, two east and two west. 
the land with two points for sunrise and two points for uh, sunset. And in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 30, Allah Ta'ala said, وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً uh, Allah said to the angels, I will place a king on the earth. Truthful Allah, the great. And this is clearly mean Adam uh, السلام, was on earth, not in uh, al Ma'wa paradise as uh, they think. And in Surah An-Nisa, verse number 54, Allah Azza wa Jal said, فَقَدْ أَتَيْنَا آلَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَأَتَيْنَاهُمْ مُلْكًا عَظِيمًا And indeed we have given the family of Ibrahim the book and the wisdom and we have given them a grand kingdom. And here in the verse, the grand kingdom, Allah Azza wa Jal means the kingdom of King Tubba and the great kingdom in the billion land at uh, the south of uh, the barrier of uh, Dulqarnayn. Now maybe one of uh, the Muslim sections uh, scholars want to say that uh, Imam Nasir Muhammad al-Iman is not the awaited Mahdi and the awaited Mahdi name is uh, Muhammad, not Nasir Muhammad. Then I will tell you, may Allah forgive you and us. Uh, Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam never said uh, that the awaited Mahdi name is Muhammad. He said in Arabic, Wa'atik ismuhu ismi, means uh, his name uh, coincides with my name, like uh, compatible, not exact or the same match. Uh, and if you think in the name of uh, Imam Nasir, Nasir means the uh, supporter. And in all cases, you have to know that uh, the argument and the evidence is not in the name, but is in the knowledge of uh, the book, uh, the Great Quran. And for you, my dears, I advise you to read uh, the statements uh, to get the knowledge. Read and you will know what uh, you don't know. And I want to remind you of uh, verse number 18 from Surah Az-Zumar. Allah Azza wa Jal said, الَّذِينَ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقَوْلِ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ أَحْسَنُ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ هَدَاهُمُ اللَّهُ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمْ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ Those who listen uh, to the word then follow the best of it. Those are the ones Allah has uh, guided and those are the people of uh, the understanding. So you have uh, to read before you judge and ask Allah Ta'ala to show you the right path. May Allah Azza wa Jal uh, forgive all of us and He is uh, the most merf uh, merciful. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ahibbati fi Allah bayanana hadha hadigat ism Allah al-a'zam. Alaykum an ta'lamu ilm al-yageen. إن لإسم الله الأعظم حقيقة فتنزل في القلوب ما هي هذه الحقيقة طبعا وإسم الله الأعظم هو ليس من صفات الله الذاتية بل من صفات الله النفسية لأن الله سبحانه وتعالى له صفات ذاتية وله صفات نفسية بالنسبة للصفات الذاتية لا يشارك فيها أحد وليس كمثله شيء سبحانه لكن الصفات النفسية مثلا الرحمة ويسمي نفسه أرحم الراحمين أكرم الأكرمين خير الغافرين خير الرازقين على كل حال ومن صفات الله النفسية يعني رضوان نفس الله على عباده والله الذي لا إله غيره إن هذه الآية أعظم آية أيد بها الله عبد من عباده حقيقة اسم الله الأعظم